Okay, I reattached this spring down here. Just hooked it around. Okay. And uh, now these connect connectors uh, need to be attached right positive and left positive on top. So I'm going to go ahead and connect my um, uh, my commons first. And then I'm going to use the the old red connector for the the right and the new red will be the left. Two, three, four underneath. Kind of rotate it. Rotate it. Press it down. Okay. And then that travels through there. Pull these wires down a little ways. That red one's a little too long. Where's that red one? There it is. Okay. Okay. Screw that in until it's home. There it is. Loosen it up so it's can move easily but not too wiggly. That feels about right. And then tighten this down to lock it in place. There. There, that feels... That feels very light though. There must be an adjustment I don't know how it's adjustable. Man, that is a light touch. The cartridge might be lighter than the original. And in that case, I may need to put some weight on this because the spring Okay, I have resoldered um, or soldered new wire, new uh, 110 wire, on my posts here, on my switch, and uh, put some shrink tubing on these bare wires. I have to shrink them down a little bit more. So, um, and uh, run an extra wire for this other channel, but I need to get some sort of a terminal block to attach it. So I'll do that a little bit later. So right now let's try and put that tone arm back together. So first of all I want to see if I can find the scribe mark and we'll put this back on. Okay, there. This uh, nut, there it goes. There. Okay, now. On the money. Okay, so 
so let's check to make sure. See now that's a little bit on the tight side. So I need to loosen it just a tad. That's better. And I've got a little bit of uh, grease for my idler wheel shaft. And um, I'll just lay it in there where that indentation is. And I've done a little lubrication on these other little shafts here with some... Uh, I've got some black hole for bearings uh, performance lube that I had kicking around. And uh, cleaned out the inside here, so um, and then also cleaned the uh, cleaned the inside of that um, of the of the turntable. So that's nice and clean, ready to be lubricated and assembled. So a little carburetor carburetor cleaner here, it's just enough to clean these parts. They're a little sticky from old, old, ancient um, oil. And uh, that looks to be a little, a little dirty. bearing I just don't want to disturb these ball bearings and, um, I guess this is what you got to do you have to make sure that they're still intact uh, clean it up That's good old, that's good old grease. Pack this little bearing. sandwich it like that I've cleaned this shaft or yeah yeah I've cleaned this shaft I'm going to put a little, just some machine oil on it. We also need to grease this track. Probably don't need a whole lot, but enough to, I don't think, because this is going to drive the arm up and down and <clears throat> it, um, as this thing tracks around. So it's pretty important that it be able to slide freely so it doesn't slow down the machine much. Yeah. 
And I'll just kind of clean this up because we just want it to be in the groove there. And then that rides on that shaft there and does the job of uh, moving this arm back and forth. So we'll see. I guess I'll assemble it like this and see what happens. Oh, you know, I forgot I was going to try and press that in. Maybe I'll do that later. There. Okay. So I've taken off the protection for these adjustments and the first thing to see here you can see that there's been some needle scratching along the uh, the, uh, uh, on the base so um, I want to make sure that the needle isn't touching the base now it is uh, quite a ways up off of the base and if um, but I had, I had to bend the tang down here, underneath here, bend the little tang right here, I had to bend it up a little bit so that the needle wouldn't uh, land on the Bakelite here on the, on the tabletop. But yet it'll still uh, land on the record. Okay, so what I've done here is I have the second channel this is the the cable coming from um, that plugs into the amplifier, and I've got a little standoff and mounted it in these two holes. One of these two holes that's already there uh, in the mount, and um, that's an insulated standoff. So then I I took the red the um, the red wire from the second channel. And ran it through this little uh, shrink tubing that's got some got the uh, shielding from this uh, cable here down to it, and then I jumped across a, a resistor that I purchased for the other side to get the ohms correct. So then soldered the ground onto the ground lug right there. So that circuit's all set, and then to get the weight correct and the on the um, in here, I uh, oh boy, it's not focusing. There we go. I've glued down a couple of uh, nuts underneath the uh, that's going to go underneath the the cartridge, and that gives me four grams extra weight. And I figure there's one gram already, so that's five grams. That should uh, be enough to track it. And uh, then I just did reroute the. Um, the electrical uh, cable around the back side of the motor and and put these um, connections on here to isolate it try to get it away from the um, uh, the amplifier uh, circuit to control the hum and uh, so we'll put it back together now and and uh, then do the final adjustments <laughs>